welcome back to Collectible Stonks. My name is Yamel. Glad to have you guys here. Um, just doing a real quick market video on a specific card that is uh, kind of rising in price rather quickly. Uh, granted, uh, there are no sales yet at this price point. Um, and that would be Go Bananas, as you can see on my screen. This is a big boy. Granted, you see here, you know, it was a low of. Uh, 285 was a low point and then it skyrocketed past 300 uh, according to the last sales 367.99 for a near mint first edition uh, rainbow foil which was sold a couple days ago after that there are only four up for sale on tcg player the low is being 948 now on ebay there are <laughs> surprisingly like five uh five go bananas sealed promos and open promos and all that good stuff um starting at this current one right here for 227 is the current bid with four days and five hours left chances are it will likely reach the 350 mark which is what i've seen uh mainly on ebay that's what they've been selling for is about 350 um here's another one for 400 and then this one is the promo uh which i believe rudy actually uh from alpha investments was actually the one that offered this kit originally that comes with the three cold foil potions um and then 350 is this new listing and then 284.99 for this one over here as well um i don't know what's going to happen to go bananas i personally I will be selling one of mine, one of my copies, uh, actually soon on my website once I actually launch it, along with a couple of other, uh, actually probably just one other flesh and blood promo, maybe maybe a couple more. I'm still debating on if I want to put some up there. But essentially, you know, um, in fact, I have it right here. You know this this bad boy right here is starting to go up in price i believe i made a video last year regarding why i thought that go bananas is probably one of only a few like legitimate promotional cards that will likely hold value value long term mainly because again this promo could only be found i believe through mighty ape which is an lgs i want to say in, in australia new zealand uh, something like that um, and it was basically the promotional card you received for showing up to the to the event uh, when flesh and blood launched over there and then in order for you to get this card in the US Rudy actually had a kit which included all those old, the cold foil potions that I showed you a little while ago and that's the only way you could get this card <laughs> so it's rare uh, I don't know what the print run is um, now, as, as you see here, this is the LSS002. Of course, we all know now what the first official promotional card that uh, Legend Story Studios created, which was the Rudy Gemkeeper card, which that alone is a $750 to $1,000 card on, on its own without the kit. Uh, at least that's what the going rate has been on TCG Player and on eBay. Will we see this card reach those heights? I believe so. I believe... It, in my opinion, $950 for this card is a little too much at this at this moment. Uh, just because there's still a few left in the market where they're priced sub 300 to you know sub 400. Um, but once it dries up, they're gonna keep going up in price. Um, and this card, I remember when this card was only like what 100 bucks, 150, and now it's way past over the 300. Um, and yeah so really interesting stuff that you know I'm, i've noticed with this card i don't really keep up too much with it i just happen to uh i just happen to tr try to be selling my card which i will be putting up uh on my website here shortly uh, hopefully hopefully within the next few days that'll be up and running so I'll, i'm just gonna have a few items there metazoo and flesh and blood related and maybe some funko pops here and there uh still working with some distributors uh to get some product in Starting to get approved for TCG product. We'll see how that goes. Otherwise, I'll likely just be putting stuff from my collection or from you know collections that I buy off of people. Uh, that is going to be the goal. But essentially, that's how I came upon this little nugget of information of that all of a sudden this card is just dried up on TCG player. So <laughs> interesting, very interesting. We'll see if it'll actually reach that that height. Again, not sure what the cause of the spike is, other than we they're just there's just none for sale out there currently really awesome card really cool i mean as you saw where where where'd i leave it i just had it great there it is 
Yeah, so like, I don't know if you guys could see it. Let me see. Yeah. Probably can't see it, but it's Rainbow Foil. Really nice looking card. Um, so, yeah, you know, just figured I'd make a real quick video regarding the market update on this specific promo because, again, personally, this is one of my favorite flesh and blood cards, uh, especially because, in my opinion, it is actually collectible. This is an actual card that has a history behind it. It has, uh, it's unique. Uh, it is um part of part of flesh and blood history to be to be quite frank um uh, you know being one of the very first promos made and I, if i'm not mistaken this was the actual first promo card that was released even though it was the second one created and gem keeper was number one um this was the first one that was released to the public so that alone is a big factor for its collectability the uniqueness of it the exclusivity of it uh, is another is another reason why i thought that this card was great to collect to keep long term granted i'm not a financial advisor i'm not you know none of that stuff i just enjoy this stuff i love seeing the market trends i love seeing the cards and you know purchasing and stuff like that and yeah so we'll see we'll see if go bananas goes any higher uh, i'm gonna be tracking the price now that i know what's going on in the market for sure uh, i might make a follow-up video next month it may have gone up another 50 to 100 dollars we'll see but yeah, you know, if you guys enjoy these type of market updates on random collectibles, not really random, mainly flesh and blood and MetaZoo is really what I like to focus on. Um, and you just like to see the financial side of collectibles and, and things like that, consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, and if you enjoy content like this where I just kind of ramble and I kind of talk about random things going on in the market, consider hitting that like button. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys next time.